Hey everyone, my name is Mary Holloman and today I'm going to be reading for you my children's picture book, The Anxious Lily. If you have a little one or a teenager or even an adult in your life who maybe struggles with feelings of worry or fear or anxiety, this is a great resource to take a look at those feelings from a biblical perspective. It's inspired by Matthew chapter 6 um, where Jesus tells the parable about how he provides for even the lilies. So let's take a look at Lola the Lily's story. Lola the lily was sweet as can be. She poked through the ground near the giant oak tree. Her head just a sprout and her stem soft and green, the happiest lily that you've ever seen. Just then, other lilies around her poked through and Lola looked round enjoying the view. A strange sickly feeling rose up from her roots, then quietly spread from her roots to her shoots. She started to think and to worry and fret. I wonder why I haven't grown petals yet. Where were the colors that made her a lily? When would she grow? She felt small and silly. And what would she wear at the start of each day? If asked, where's your outfit? What would she say? And think how the pansies and daisies would tease. Not to mention, without any clothes, she might freeze. And as Lola's worries continued to grow, she started to fear what she couldn't know. So while other lilies danced happy and free, poor Lola made plans near the giant oak tree. She gathered some thread from a silkworm nearby and carefully picked blades of grass growing high. She sewed a small dress and a hat of grass too. Seems the longer she worked, the taller she grew. The field mice and insects, as you might suppose, laughed at the lily who made her own clothes. But Lola kept working at quite a quick pace. Soon worry was written all over her face. While others around her grew tall, slim, and bright, Lola bent over her work through the night. Stitch after stitch, Lola's worries grew strong. She thought about everything that could go wrong. What if it rained and she floated away, leaving her dripping and soggy all day? What if her roots shook loose in the wind, causing her stem to break and to bend? From dawn until dusk, she bent over her sewing as the lilies around her kept swaying and growing. A raincoat and rain boots, some blue ones and gray ones, an evening gown too for those special occasions. Some mittens, a blouse, and a hat with a brim. A few grass knit dresses with fine grass lace trim. Some coveralls, sweaters, and pullovers too. The more that she made, the more her petals grew. The lilies around her leaned to and leaned fro. Many creatures stopped by to watch their fine show. But Lola was worried. She'd no time to play. Disaster could strike. It could come any day. The creatures sat watching the lilies all sway, but they looked right past Lola, I'm sorry to say. For you can't see a flower bent low to the dirt who's anxiously sewing a new floral shirt. Can't do it. The giant oak tree had been watching this lily, and up until now he had thought her quite silly. But this flower, so anxious, unnerved, and uptight, had become quite a sad and a troublesome sight. Said the giant oak tree as he rustled his leaves, My dear sweet Miss Lola, a word if you please. And slowly she straightened her tiny bent frame and turned to find out who had just said her name. Hello, my small friend. I couldn't help but note. Then he paused for a moment <clears throat> to clear his tree throat. You sow and you toil for days upon days, but I've never once seen you enjoy the sun's rays. I've noticed you've never looked up to the skies or waited to take in a coming sunrise or breathed in the scent of promised spring rain. Instead, you've been working and toiling in vain. While you bend and worry, the world is awake. To hide from your purpose would be a mistake. The beauty around you is one of a kind, but your thinking and fretting have made your heart blind. What's worse, said the tree as he shook his strong branches, you've missed out on all of the great lily dances. Your needs have been met from the moment you sprouted, but you sit and you fret, your whole life you have doubted. He looked down at Lola who stood in his shade. I fear you've forgotten for what you were made. 
Your face and your beauty give our maker praise. You were put here to love him for all of your days. He's given you clothes finer than all of these. And he pointed to all of her clothes with his leaves. For not even kings are adorned quite like you. Your creator has dressed you your whole life through. At this, Lola looked at each skirt and each gown, at all of the clothes that had kept her bent down. Look at me, I have leaves, Lola said with a smile, and beautiful petals with great floral style. My colors are bright and so bold I could cry. As tears filled her eyes, she looked up to the sky. Each time she had feared the things she couldn't know, she doubted her maker who made all things grow. And with one swift motion, she tossed them away, the things she'd been sewing all night and all day. She lifted her leaves and her face toward the tree. Thank you, kind oak tree, for helping me see. So now if you pass near the place where they grow, look closely for Lola. She'll put on a show. She dances with joy. She's no longer afraid. She's tossed aside all of the clothes that she made. For if God could give clothes to the lilies and weeds, then couldn't he also meet all other needs? And if God provides, there's no reason to hurry. To work through the night, there is no need to worry. Lola the lily, content as can be, as she dances and sways near the giant oak tree, her head dressed in glory, her leaves thick and green. The happiest lily that you've ever seen. The end. I hope you enjoyed it.